Another quick example. I could just do this all day long. Uh, I'm running again on the mains. The rotoverter is drawing 191 watts and I'm at 24.92 volts on these two batteries down here connected in series and I've disconnected this lead right here which uh, goes to the rotoverter and I just have the generator coming in so the power is coming up very slowly but when I mix those two energies together that's when the magic happens and I want to show you that again 191 watts there 24.94 and here we go let's make the connection oh yeah sparky oh, oh I hate doing this All right. You don't know, okay, connection made. Now, look what the draw is down to. 144 watts. And what's our power doing? It's all the right, it's already up to 25 volts and climbing between the two, of course, in series, you know, so it's like 12 and a half volts. <laughs> Steady climbing. 143 watts of uh, input now is all that's demanded to run this Quanta converter system and quickly, quickly charge up these deep cycle batteries. <laughs> it's just incredible stuff. Like I said, I could do this all day long, all night long. There's just so many different experiments and so many different things you can do with this system. Here's another real quick experiment I want to show you. It's pretty fascinating. I've got the quantum converter running right now, but as you can see up here, I've disconnected the leads coming off of the quanta charger itself. So all we've got is the uh, third phase radiant coming out of the rotoverter, coming into the bridge rectifier and the power coming out of it and going into this battery. Now I've got the negative connected. I haven't uh, connected the positive terminal yet because I wanted to show you this. Uh, right now the battery is really low. It's 11, 11.08 volts and the rotoverter is drawing 164, uh, 163 volt amps which is uh, 1.32 amps oops, let's go here, 1.32, 1.33 amps at 121.7 volts. So it really is 164 volt amps, volts times uh, amps, watts. And um, now watch what happens when I connect this to the positive. Watch what happens on the power going into the rotoverter. And look at the power increase on the battery. Now, of course, it'll do this with any battery. I just put this little one on the table because it was convenient. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna overcharge it, 1645. But it's just real high voltage. But look what it did. It dropped down the the input power to the rotoverter to 98 watts. Take it off. Back up to 161 watts. So, when you put it under load, it actually causes the rotoverter to draw less power. Pretty interesting, right? Now, reconnect leads to the Quanta charger here and blend its output power with that same output power, that same radiant output power from the rotoverter that caused this to draw less power, combine those two energies, and that's what gives you that supercharger power for charging batteries.